Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back. Not with a review today, but uh, just to talk some things out, man. Because as we all know, the fragrance community lost one of our own a few days ago. Um, Brooklyn fragrance lover Carlos Powell uh, passed away. And uh, there are a lot of people affected by it. A lot of people affected by it. He was a true giant of the fragrance community. And... You know, a lot of people are affected. I'm affected. Um, and this is just a difficult time for myself as well as a lot of other people. You know, I first met Carlos at the Parfums de Marly Sedley launch back in 2018, I believe. He was the first one to shake my hand. First one I took a picture with. I snuck into his YouTube live video, I think, somewhere. Um, but he welcomed me with open arms. You know, here's a guy he'd only seen on Instagram maybe once or twice who didn't have a YouTube channel at the time and he was so gracious and so kind to me um, welcoming, me, welcoming me into uh, that event and other events. We met again at the Parfums de Marley Kalana launch and uh, then for a third time when we attended uh, Scent Explore 2019 here in New York. Each and every time each and every time Carlos greeted me with a handshake and a smile, you know, hey, how you doing? What's going on? How you been? That's just the kind of person he was. Genuine, sincere, nice. I'm going to miss that. Um, there are a lot of other people that have known Carlos for a much longer time than myself. And so I do not claim a monopoly on uh, him or his memory or anything like that. Um, but... I just want to express my feelings and and my, you know, what I'm going through right now. It hurts. It hurts. He was a genuine person, and there are not a lot of genuine people uh, these days. And so when you find someone who is sincere, who is genuine, you kind of want to latch onto them and never let go because, you know, you, you might not find it again. And we're never going to find another Carlos Pal. Trust me, we're not. You know, he was an entity unto himself, and we all know that. Um, so this one hurts. Uh, I'm certainly affected. He was a nice guy to me. I asked him for advice plenty of times, and I probably got on his nerves. <laughs> but uh, he certainly replied to each and every one of my messages, offering the advice that he could, um, shepherding me along my uh, way from... Uh, writing reviews to Instagram and now on to YouTube. You know, he was just a genuinely nice guy who wanted everyone to succeed. He wanted to pull everyone with him. He was never too big for the small guys. And that's what I like about him, man. That's what I, that's what I loved about him. He was just a genuinely nice person. And that is going to definitely be missed. Um, there are a lot of other people that knew him for many, many, many years before I did, um, and I know they're hurting too. You know, if you guys wanna talk, feel free to hit me in the comments. This is a difficult time for me, for you, for the fragrance community as a whole. Um, I will leave some information down below in the description for his GoFundMe. Please, if you can support, do support. I will also leave some information from Oswald's down below as well. They are, um, supporting his uh, GoFundMe with 10% uh, of e each purchase goes to his GoFundMe account. Also, Oliabar is, uh, has a discount code, 15% off your purchase. So I will definitely link that down below in the description. It's a difficult time for a lot of people, but I know, as we all do, that he's looking down on us right now, probably spraying some Tom Ford, uh, Amber Absolute, and... Uh, you know, we will we will get through this tough time. He wouldn't want us to be down and out forever. We all know that. So from this moment on, I'm going to pledge that I am going to do my absolute best in each one of my reviews. Um, I'm not going to strive for perfection, but I am going to try to do my best because that's what he would have wanted. That's what he did. He did his best. I'm going to do my best. And, uh, you know, he will be sorely missed uh, by me and by a lot of other people. So thank you guys for your attention. 
like I said, there's going to be some uh, information in the description below. Support if you can. Reach out if you can. Um, we'll be all right. We're going to be all right. It's just a tough time. It's, it's a tough season right now. But we're going to be all right. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.